I like to use the, the Cloud9 IDE, mm -hmm. which is the built-in IDE where you can edit uh, JavaScript files um, oh, cool. and, um, and, and work from, from there. There's a number of examples I'm kind of thrown in there, like you know the crazy just simple blink LED um, example um, it's in, written entirely in, in JavaScript. And we can run those in here. We can run JavaScript or Python, um, some other languages in here. We can run uh -huh. C programs, and then we'd want to compile them from the command line. Uh -huh. um, um, but then the command line is just right there. So I have a full cool. feature command line directly in the browser. Um, you know, I can even run things like um, like VI, yeah. right, directly within my browser. And if I want to create web pages, right, that I want to serve off the board, right, mm -hmm. so I can, um, you know, directly create those web pages, cool. right. So there's a, a web page, and we just click live preview, and there we got. I guess the links are bad from from just serving it up from this location, right. Mm -hmm. But you can actually develop. And your web pages here directly within the within the IDE oh. because it's your it's your web server, right? So you yeah. Can just, and you, and then you can make all those web pages physically interactive. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can totally see that being used for artistic installations. I have a bunch of friends who do like you know interactive touch things, but then also you've got this processing display and it's like exactly. And that's what it's that's what it's really fantastic uh -huh. for. Plus, you've got the real time microcontrollers in there. So you can create interfaces to things like LED panels. Yeah. To make, like, so people build like essentially jumbotrons, uh -huh. you know, off of the, the IO pins, yeah. right? But then they're still able to just program it, you know, to create the graphics in mm -hmm. something like processing or processing JS. Sweet.